the Southern Quality Ford Friday Night Blitz continues. Welcome back to the Southern Quality Ford Friday Night Blitz and Brad, the games keep on coming. Yeah, that's right. Heading back over to East Texas and we're going to check in on Timpson taking on Alto here and this one going to be favoring the Bears. Here is Timpson QB Terry Boosie going to hand the ball off to Braden Cordy. He's going to be taken down by a swarm of yellow jackets, but I'm not going to be deterred by that. They're going to go back to Courtney and this time he is going to break through, finds a big hole there provided by his offensive line, takes it 40 yards for the Timpson Bear touchdown. Almost gets caught at the end. Drove still, a truck through that still hole. gets it in for into the end zone for the score. Now here comes the Yellow Jackets trying to get something going. Will Dixon going to throw the ball out here, but Timpson oh. reads that thing like it's a book that is intercepted by oh. Kate Throckman. Big hit at That's the funny. end there, but this one all Timpson. They can take the hits, but they dole out points. 48 to 6, the final score there. All right, now it was nasty and wet to start this next game, Brad, and it's Gilmer and Henderson. Lions over the contest, recovering an onside kick. They cash it in here. Donovan Davis finding Bryson Collins in the back of the end zone. And just like that, Henderson leads 7 to nothing. Gilmer with the ball. The low snap goes between Brandon Tennyson's legs. Nothing good can come of this. Tries to pick it up, loses it again. DeCorian Walden able to pick up the fumble. He returns it all the way back for six. Lions mounting a very quick 14 to nothing lead. But Gilmer settling things down, giving the ball to Jerron Choice. He'll plow his way in for the score. They'd convert on the two-pointer trail, 14A. Second quarter, Tennyson rolling to his right, fires to the end zone and finds the sure hands of Parker Gillow. Touchdown, Buckeyes, and they take a 15 to 14 lead. Late in the first half, Tennyson goes deep and hits Marche Spraglin, and Spraglin will hustle down the sideline in for the score. Gilmer led 22 to 15 at the half. They would hold on for the victory in this one, 22 to 20. Brad, one of the best games of the night. That's right. Now we're going to go head up to Arkansas, and now this is Parker Chapel taking on Lafayette <laughs> County. And taking a look here, Parker Chapel on offense going to go to their big running back here. He's going to bounce to the outside. Gets that corner there. Looks like he's going to take it in. Eventually, though, is if it is brought down here. Now, a little bit later here in this contest, Parker Chapel on offense once again. Big br being brought down there by Lafayette County. Real quick play once again. Another good stop by the Lafayette County defense. Now, here come the Cougars on offense. QB keeper here. He's going to take it all the way to the outside. Eventually, going to be brought down by a couple of Trojan defenders there. Right there, stand, fans out there in the stands liking what they're seeing. Now, Cougars going through the air. This one is going to turn into six. Lafayette County leading it seven to nothing at that point, but Parker's Chapel coming back to win the game as they take its final score 28 to 16. Lafayette County falling tonight. Let's head over to Cross It, Brad. Let's check out that game. It was an exciting one tonight. Panthers in their home territory at the start of the season. All right, that's Kendra Carey tossing it to Gary and Curry. Defensive tackle slows him down. Okay, the Eagles find a way to score. Let's see. Here they are, third and 10 of their own 20 yard line. Tyreek Jones trying to find an open man, doesn't see him. Carries it himself, shakes off four defensive players before he's finally brought down, but not after a huge gain on third down. Fast forward a few plays later now. Eagles facing another third down, and it's Tyreek Jones again setting up the offense here with a nice five-yard gain. Very next play, Brad, it's fourth and five. A lot of pressure here on fourth down. Jones trying to find his man. The ball, though, going to be plucked right out of the air, intercepted by the Panthers offense. Did not have a good game tonight. They remain scoreless for the entire second half. Final score tonight, Panthers 16, Cross at 6. Well, coming up on the Southern Quality Forward Friday Night Blitz, one of my favorite parts of the night. Some exciting top plays from an exciting night of football. Stay with us. Hey! 